like I can type 1500 times 35. It'll do the math. I'll say next Friday here and it'll showcase what the date is. It's very, very simple to use and it actually has plugins too. There are a lot of tools every single day that people don't realize exist and it frustrates me as somebody who is in this space. Actually, it saddens me more than anything. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. So my thing personally is that every time I see a product that I'm aware of, that people are blissfully unaware of, that are a part of the everyday productivity suite that can exist for somebody, that's where I get a little frustrated. So for me, the first one on this list is available to everybody who uses a Mac and is available to download very easily if you are on the Windows ecosystem. So if you press Command Space on your desktop, if you are on Mac, you actually will get this amazing thing called Spotlight, where essentially you can look up anything like a product or another app that you have, or even contacts, shortcuts, and have the ability to look something up inside of the system. Or you'll notice once again, if I look up Notion, wait a second. <laughs> if I click on that, I actually do a search inside of my default browser. Now, this is a really cool tool. It's something that I, for some reason, see people not aware of, like they're blissfully unaware of the fact that you can, <laughs> inside of your Mac or on your PC, do these kinds of things. Now, I personally have upgraded to something else called Raycast, which is a very similar option of a product. I personally like it more because it does in fact operate in a bit of a better system. So what I mean by that is it has more robust functionality, like I can type 1500 times 35. It'll do the math. I'll say next Friday here and it'll showcase what the date is. It's very, very simple to use and it actually has plugins too. Um, like I typed plugins here and if I click on the store, you'll notice that it actually allows you to check out all of the different extensions that exist with it. I have a myriad of different ones. Uh, my favorite one is actually the color picker as somebody who works in a creative industry and is severely colorblind. Doing something like this and getting the color is super useful for creative work. Now you can actually get something like this for your windows. If you go to power toys, and it'll look a little bit weird. Uh, it'll look like almost like a forum that you need to download it from. But so Power Toys right here, as you'll notice, is essentially a tool that does nearly the same thing as that bar, just spread out into a lot of different systems. It's not a one-to-one, -one, but I very much enjoy it. There's a bunch of different File Explorer add-ons. It has something called Power Toys Run, which essentially does the same thing as what you'll get out of Raycast or Spotlight. It's not as functional, but it is pretty solid and it's something that everyone should check out if they have a Windows computer. Now, number two is pretty surprising to a lot of people as well. But for me, I don't spend a lot of time inside of my Google Drive. So when I go to Google Drive here inside of the web app, I don't like the way that it works. I don't like that it doesn't feel like a real file manager. But if you go to Google Drive for desktop, what you'll actually get is the ability to download this and interact with and sync files from your desktop to the cloud. Now here, you'll see that I have basically all the recent transactions and it allows me to very much so have a nice in sync system. But what I personally do as a pro tip here is I go to preferences and set it up so that it streams the files rather than mirroring the files. Uh, mirroring the files essentially makes it so that it's on your cloud and your computer. With streaming the files, you essentially are just streaming them from the internet. And if you do need to do very high data level things, it ends up allowing you to download them for a short period of time. And then you can just remove the download and it'll go back into the cloud without needing to um, re-upload it. It just like gets it off your computer. Like for this, removing the download gets it off of there. But if I wanna watch one of these audios or videos, I can click on it, it downloads it pretty quickly, and then I am able to listen to this audio recording of myself and then remove it as well. I like this because it ends up working as a free cloud storage solution for so many different products. I have some products like CleanShot X, that's my screenshot tool, where essentially I have just created a file path that allows me to open up this and that's where all of my saved screenshots are. So it's in a cloud storage rather than it being just on my desktop taking up storage space. And I don't have to pay for clean shots cloud option because of this. Now you can also do the exact same thing if you're in the Microsoft ecosystem. I would make sure that you go to OneDrive and you can get it for Mac, PC, Android, and iOS for both Google Drive 
and OneDrive, download this and you'll have the exact same experience. Navigating within your Finder or your Windows computer like it's a normal filing system makes it so much easier to work with these files and I highly recommend that you do this. Now, number three is actually Google Calendar. Now, this is a bit of a cop out because Google Calendar, Google Meet, and Gmail are all, as you can see here, applications. Now, you might be a little bit confused because they're just in the web browser. The key thing to note here is that they actually are more than just web browser tools if you do the right thing. So if I go to meet.google.com, for example, you notice that I already have this set up with a bit of an open arrow, right? So if I press this, it brings it to my app. And that is because inside of Google Chrome or Edge or whatever browser you have, you have the ability to press this if you're on Edge. And then you also have the ability to create a shortcut as a window on Chrome and other Chromium-based browsers. And after pressing install here or creating the shortcut in the case of Google Chrome, which I'll show you really quickly, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to the three dots here and then go to more tools, create shortcut, and then open as window and press create. Then when you open up a product like Google Calendar, it actually opens up your Google Calendar rather than making it a browser app, which to be clear is not fun for anybody considering having to find your Google Meet tab during a meeting, not ideal. Having to find your calendar when not in a meeting, not ideal. So those are all different underrated productivity apps and tricks that I wanted to talk to you about today. Because truthfully, I've saved a lot of time and stress having these three different tips, tricks, and tools inside of my workflow for the last couple of years. If you like this video and want to see more about how you can improve your skills using productivity tools, make sure to check out more videos like this one right here.